Right now, we're all experiencing the nightmare that became a reality. All the barbershops are closed. Now we can't get haircuts. But I do have a solution. I'll teach you how to do your own lineups in this video. So stay So things you will need. You need trimmers. These are the Andes GTX blades. You need a brush. Everybody who's waving already knows this. You need a comb. And you need another mirror. See your main mirror. So now let's get started. I'm gonna teach you how to look clean while you're wolfing. If you're in wolf process, or you just want to shape up to look clean, I got you. This is this is a preview for my next video. Here's goes. That's two weeks right there. Started brushing two thirties ago. Two weeks of progress. Okay, now let's get to the fun part. As you see right now, I'm combing the loose hairs down for my hairline, my edges on both sides. I'm doing this because I want to get all the loose hairs laid down so I can cut them off and see actually see them now I'm taking the cool care lubricant as you will see in a few seconds I'm going to spray, spray my blade so the function of this is to disinfect the blade and also cool it down I'm just wiping off the excess of the blade now as you see I'm starting at the middle of my hairline and I am moving my head and it's going towards the right side I know there's other techniques to this and I will show you those techniques in future videos but I'm showing you this technique for now. So this is why you will want a T blade. It will help you with getting to the corners, making them sharp. As you see, I have the blade. I'm going for a 90 degree angle. I wanted to make it look as natural as possible. So my right side and my left side will match. And that's totally fine with me. The last thing I want is my right side to try to match my left side. And in the process, make it look pushed back. I'm just going with the blade, pulling away from the hair. You do that for every part, your hairline and your edges. Go to the line, pull away from the line. So I'm just combing loose hairs and I'm doing the same thing. Go to the line, pull away. With this process, 
you want to take your time this is not a rush this is the most important part of the haircut I'm just attacking that corner with the T corner wanting to make it look sharp and I'm just taking some loose hairs off the edge as well too doing the same on this side if you have a mirror that folds like the self cut mirror you have a big advantage with this knowing that you, you can see the sides much more clearly but if you have one mirror then it's totally fine just use your other mirror to assist you I have a three-way mirror plus I have my camera screen also to help me out so as you see on this side I have some light hair that's under my darker shape up I'm leaving that out I'm not gonna shake that up because I want that to grow and I'm just using the corner of the T to draw basically a C. I'm just drawing the shape that I want. And this part, I'm just making like a, a C. So this is called a C cup. Just doing some little detail, taking off some loose hairs. So as you notice, you won't get the shape up down in the one shot. You have to do it two, three, four times sometimes to get it. Same thing on this side. Just draw on a C. Using the edge of my trimmer. Taking off any loose hairs. making sure the shapes are right now I'm going behind the C cup I'm pulling my skin so I can get more hair off and I am pulling my hair so it's not in the way and I'm trying to draw basically another C on top of my ear and this is going to lead towards the back now I just wanted to mention about my waves I started brushing the thurs two Thursdays ago and this video was recorded on Saturday so as of this video give or take a week and a half a week and a half I was brushing trying to get waves same thing on this side I'm drawing a C on top of my ear which will lead towards the back moving my ear out of the way so I can get all the hairs off and now I'm just shaping the back taking off the loose hairs so you really want to be precise with this you want to get as much loose hairs off as possible. Make sure you want to make it as sharp as you can, but still keep it natural. Same thing on this side, just taking off loose hairs. And you remember the same thing go to the line, pull away from the line, not towards it. Now I'm using my other mirror to help me see my back a little better.
I'm just trying to find a good angle. Yeah, so all my fellow waivers know why I brush my hair down. I'm just trying to find a good angle. And I'm going for more of the rounded back look. If you're a beginner, you can just go for the regular square look. That's totally fine as well. That's That would be a lot easier actually. Just go down straight and just go for the straight line at the bottom. But I like the rounded look. I have experience doing this. I'm just making sure everything is at a good angle. My waivers, you know why I brush my hair again. So you always want to brush your hair before any haircut or any shape up to make sure your hair is laid down and put into place. Oh, another tip, I'm not going to expect you to learn this, but you do want to practice using both hands, both your left and right hand. It'll help you a lot more in the long run. Instead of having one hand and putting that one hand into weird angles and making it a little more difficult. It's not hard with your non-dominant hand, it just takes more practice and you will get it in no time yeah so i'm just going for the rounded shape i'm using the corner of my blade to help me out and my camera almost fell but you do see those randy moss hands and i saved the day now back to the scheduled program I'm just making a circle again using the corner of my blade. In this, so in this tutorial, you don't have to make this perfect your first time around. As you see for me, I've been doing this for six years on myself and it's not perfect like you see on the, those Instagram photos and it's totally fine. As long as it looks clean and neat, that should be a goal and natural. Those photos on Instagram with the shape ups, a lot of them use enhancements to make it look better. Now I'm just looking, making sure everything's straight. Any adjustments I have to make or mistakes I have to fix, I'm gonna do that right now. Just double checking my work. Remember, this is not something you'll get in the first time around. It'll take you a few tries. So this is why you need a comb. You want to comb your hair down to make sure all the loose hairs are off. And you do this because the last thing you want to do is finish your shape up, put everything away, brush your hair and then you shape up is messed up you do this to get all the loose hairs off so even when you brush your hair it won't mess up your shape up and now I'm just going back fixing that corner on my right side I'm using the corner of my T-blade 
to make my life a little bit easier. Just tap at that corner. You want to make that corner as sharp as possible, but keep it natural. Yeah, you just want to take your time with this. You don't want it to you don't want to rush this. I'm just checking everything to see if it's good. And I am satisfied at what I see. So I'm using aftershave and this part you want to use aftershave and take off and sterilize all the areas you just shaved off like your hairline your edges and the back of your hair as you noticed while I was doing the shape up when I wanted to see my hairline or my progress I turned my clipper off I do that so my clipper does overheat the last thing you will want it's very hot clipper on your skin because that will cause some rashes that will look very ugly. Trust me, I learned the hard way. Now I'm just brushing my hair down. You know, I gotta get my brush dressing in one time for the video. And that's it. Not much to it. Very simple not hard you can do this just take your time steady hand and you got this i just finished my lineup as you see is not a very hard process it's self-explanatory just take your time and you'll get through this that being said like comment subscribe share with your friends give me any feedback any more tips and stay safe